So there's a recent interview that Toriyama, the creator himself, had some interesting things to say, and I just want to kind of tone down the audience of fans here that are really hyping this up. So let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Your boy Uj, and of course, we are back again, once again. Hope you're doing great tonight. So, um, as you can tell, it's kind of late from when I'm recording this because I just got done streaming. And this was actually something that I was talking about with my chat. So, this is me plugging my stream. If you ever want to interact with me live, definitely go and follow me there. Because I'm not really going to be doing any live streams right now here on this channel. But maybe that can change in the future. Let's talk about what this interview had to say. So shout outs to Herms as always for officially doing the translations for us fans to check this out and to understand exactly where this uh, little tidbit came from. And uh, here is what was said. So the first question asked, what was your aim in featuring Gohan, Piccolo and the Red Ribbon Army? And out the gate, Toriyama straight up says, Gohan is actually stronger than anyone. Or so it said. And that is where I need to stop. Because I just want to say and remind everybody that Toriyama's roots are comedy based. If you look at a lot of his work, this dude is clearly all about his humor. And if you even look at how Dragon Ball was made, it has heavy 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 humor in, in, implanted everywhere within that show and as a matter of fact i've actually been re-watching dragon ball and it's hilarious every episode makes me laugh the reason why i bring this up is because i feel like in his true nature toriyama is a clown okay like i'm just and that's me saying that respectfully okay you know obviously dragon ball evolved into the monstrosity that it is now and it is no it's not even anywhere close to how it originally was, I guess, intended to kind of be. It was very lighthearted and whatnot. And I mean, it does have its lighthearted moments now, but you get what I mean. It's not like it's, you know, completely serious all the time. There's definitely humor in, injected here and there and whatnot, but it's obviously very different. So I say all that to kind of now go back into this comment. It's literally the first opening sentence where he says that Gohan is actually stronger than anyone, or so it's said. So... I just wanted to break that down for you guys and kind of give you guys my take on this whole matter. I don't think anybody should get too excited and take this for literally what is said up until the first three dots, okay? Because yes, I do believe that Gohan is definitely a very, very, very strong person when it matters and if he is ever needed to. And this is essentially what the whole purpose of this movie is, like superhero he is the superhero you understand like the gammas are saying that they're superheroes but the true superhero that's going to be standing tall at the end of this film is going to be gohan and i'm sure and i said this last year i said this that pan was going to basically look at her papa and then call him her superhero I, i'm calling this right now and even if that doesn't happen that's essentially what this whole movie is, is supposed to be about and the fact that he even says so it said right is kind of like an idea or even a callback to just how at one point in the story gohan really was supposed to or i guess be looked at or understood as somebody that was definitely stronger than anyone like at, at, at one point in the overall story of dragon ball we already know that gohan was essentially kind of set up to be that guy but you know a lot can change when you have seven years of peace and you actually go off and pursue the things that you actually wanted to do and that's exactly what happened with gohan but now things have changed time has passed and now he has a motivation to basically become that again possibly and i say possibly because we have characters like broly that exist we'll see we'll definitely see i mean i could totally be wrong and i can totally be eating my words in 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 a certain amount of time when you know we do see this movie come out and other things 
happen afterwards but we will really have to wait and see because again let's just keep in mind that i'm pretty sure the last time we saw uh gohan at the end of z i don't even think he was in that tournament i'm pretty sure he was just in his glasses and freaking work clothes like you know like the everybody's favorite version of gohan right okay we have to see because obviously that ending scene i feel like will definitely be retconned in a way where it's i mean it's gonna be retconned either way because everything that's happening in dragon ball super right now is a ginormous plot hole based on how end of z was but that's for another video if you guys don't even realize that and i'm pretty sure i've talked about this on the full power podcast so make sure you guys are checking out the full power podcast where we talk about dragon ball and all this stuff every single week the rest of this interview there's nothing really else to kind of pull from this but the other interesting thing i guess i can i guess talk about right now is that he did he did mention that piccolo was his favorite character so i mean take that for what you will i don't think that really has any kind of meaning as far as if that's gonna play a part in the overall grander scheme of things because as you can tell piccolo really just has always been a character that has been there to get someone in line as far as like you know getting their their ish together you know what i'm saying like piccolo was there to freaking basically help out goku defeat raditz piccolo was also there to basically train up gohan time and time again piccolo was also there to help out goten and trunks with the fusion and, and all that stuff in the hyperbolic time chamber and piccolo was also there to help goku and vegeta get their ish together when they was getting bodied by my boy broly okay so now he's not just like i'm sure he's gonna play a similar role in this movie but he's gonna also be hands-on which is a very big deal and that's that's super awesome but i don't think that that line is gonna really mean anything else additional aside from the things that i've already said I'm, and, and this is not me trying to slander on piccolo because i definitely love and appreciate that character just like i have with gohan i feel like i've been one of those few people that truly has understood gohan's character and i've never once said that this dude needs to be redeemed or he needs to be reborn i've also seen on twitter people saying this that like gohan is now reborn after that that shot at the end where he's powering up and he literally if you if you there's been a lot of side by side comparisons where Gohan literally is very reminiscent to how he was fighting during that cell saga and yes the comparisons are clearly there but just keep in mind everyone Gohan is not fully like his father and he has always been about this peace life and it's not about being reborn he just now has a new found purpose you can call it a resurgence if you need to do any kind of word with re in it okay but that's just how it is that's how it's been y'all need to go back and watch dragon ball z if you forgot because this is not anything new this is a constant thing and that has been a consistent thing and it's just a matter of people not liking the direction of where that character has obviously gone so bringing us back to kind of wrap this video up and to tie it all together is gohan actually stronger than anyone he always has had that potential but it's a matter of action and following up with it that is what is the selling point what makes this what it is and to top that all off toriyama even like lightheartedly even jokes about that idea or so it said to really make all of y'all bug out and freak out and make this blow this up into this bigger thing than what it is you know what but honestly at the end of the day this could really just be one of those things where yes this could really bring gohan back to a point them showing us him way more him getting more involvement and that's a good thing and if that's what comes from this perfect that's what i want to i definitely want to see gohan in action again especially now that he has a resurgence and a purpose as to why he's even getting involved in the first place and why is that and it's obvious he's gonna he has a family to protect he has a daughter and a wife to actually protect and he can't always rely on his pops to do that because i'm sure they're i mean they're already dealing with stuff that's like crazy like they're fighting the strongest dude in the universe right now at the time of this freaking recording okay like that's literally what's happening right now either way let me know your thoughts about this recent toriyama 
interview and um we can obviously talk more about this if there's any other happenings that occur between now and whenever the next trailer does drop also make sure you guys are checking out the full power podcast so you can hear myself brother Uch, and kai talk about all of these things in you know a podcast format and i got some other videos lined up so definitely look out for those i'm gonna try to make sure that i get like at least one video out a day to just spread out these uploads and uh, the only time i'm ever gonna actually do multiple in a day is if it's like groundbreaking this just in it's a trailer reaction or something along those lines but i imagine that since there's there's going to be another trailer coming out fairly soon and then a third one after that we're gonna have plenty more stuff to talk about i'm sure so with all that like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links will be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves and may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time.